Hello, Hello. Uh, welcome uh, back welcome to Bali FM, another Friday. Another Friday. Today we're here, we uh, everybody. everybody. Uh, for yeah. example, our, our mix girl host, host that is always with me, Alora Esteban. And some people like, like, for example, like Miguel, 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 doesn't yeah, talk too much, much here. here. Hi. Hi. So, so um, um, what do we have, do we have uh, today, uh, today Alora? Uh, so, so basically this basically is the first this podcast, podcast since we finished exams, exams and, and since nobody gives a shit about the exams, let's talk about the Madrid PSG. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Uh, that uh, won uh, three, 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 one. Uh, the, the last, the last is Thursday. Thursday. Oh, Thursday. Thursday. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously. 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 Yeah. So I told so you that, that Real Madrid didn't Madrid play as Atlético de Madrid in the Champions for the win. win. And uh, uh, one. Uh, uh, so, so what's the kitchen, kitchen today? today? What comes today? Uh, well, uh, well, uh, Thursday, Thursday was the annual um, 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 report. So, and first of all, we have some random facts. Please, are you asking? Are you asking? No. Hey, hey, hi, hi. So today, so today we will be talking about eight, eight new random facts you didn't know about. Number one, number one, you rough, you rough, have the highest, the highest blood pressure of any mammal. Although the although resting heart rate, hard rate is about the same, about the same as human. Number, number two, regular fluctuations in Mars atmospheric pressure, temperature, and wind produce snowstorm with surprising predictability. So, long term weather forecasts could allow astronauts to avoid travel where a storm will happen. Wow, that's very interesting, though. Mm. Number three. Africa is the only continent with land in all four hemispheres. And number four, are you asked, did you know what animal has the biggest penises in the animal kingdom relative to its, bo to its body size? I would like to know. It is the barnacle. The barnacle. <coughs> very, very unexpected. Let's continue. The NASA vehicle assembly building in Florida is so huge that it has its own weather. When it comes to wine, an aroma similar to cat pee is considered a good thing. That's pretty strange, no? I know, I know. Number seven. <laughs> Blue whales may weigh up twice as much as the largest dinosaur. And last but not least, don't you, do you know that Forrest Mars, the creator of Peanuts on um, M&S, was allergic to peanuts? No, I didn't know that. Now you know. And that's all for now. Thank you for listening. And see you in the next week. Uh, thank you, yeah, that, thank was you. that was quite interesting. interesting. So, so now, now we have, we have the, question the question of the day. Of the day. Um, and that question, that question is, is what's for the practice, 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 practice? For example, for example, example uh, well, uh, well, I went to the gym with you, with you, with you uh, and you know, and you know, know that so next question is kind of done. But yeah, for the audience, I go to the gym, I go almost every day. And what about you, this day? When I was when little, I, was I used to play basketball, basketball, but now but I just, no, I I just love him. But yeah, it was pretty fun. I, I liked it. Why you, why you stop? You stop. Because I was kind of sick. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. I believe you, you, you were bad. <laughs> I think so. I think so. You, you, you focus, and then you, you, you be better. Yeah. Yeah. I just stop. I just stop. <laughs> okay. okay, don't do that, don't kids. Do that, kids. Don't do that. Don't do that. What about you? Well, I used to play football, but I am... I continue, I continue uh, and uh, now, uh, now I would like, like to play, play, start playing the uh, 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 well, you know, Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, remember. I remember. You started with you, yeah. And you, Juan, what did you do? I played the ball the whole time. No, no. Okay, okay. 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 Okay, I'm better. I mean, I haven't played football in my life, you know? But you're good. You're good. I, I think I I people don't say people don't say it. People. Um we'll come back to a few ads. Few ads. Are you tired of watching Netflix alone? Did you cry watching the kissing movie? Do you want a Marco Diaz or Adriana Grest in your life? Do you spend more time in the friend zone than in your own home? Then download Zalupa, a dating app for Elvaya students. With this app, you will find your own Noah Flynn. Zalupa, the best choice for your lonely life. Are you tired of studying and forgetting everything the day after the exam and you are too lazy to make your own cheat notes? 
we present you the Tunetator, a web page that we put at your disposal where you can create your own cheat notes and where you can and also find other people's cheat notes. You just have to copy the text you want to include in your cheat note and select the size of the cheat note. You can select Typex model, water bottle model, or just a small piece of paper. Chuletator, don't start anymore. Are you tired of trust music? Do you want to escape of reality for a few minutes? Just listen to Nothing Good's band new single, Nerd, which will be released the next month in Spotify and YouTube. Its components are former students of this school who created the group in 2018. The last year they released two singles, Wilco and Late Night Club, and also gave several concerts. Don't forget to listen to this single when it's released, because Nothing Good is the band of the moment. Okay, so now we have uh, um, an interview, as always, with Natalia Ivana and this week also with Sergio, that they made an interview to Andres Ángel Martín. No interview. <clears throat> Okay, so we had a problem and Andres <laughs> couldn't come this week. He's kind of sick. So uh, we'll move on to the debate speech about football with uh, Bonjo, Juan, Maeso and Andres. How are you both, well, fourth of you uh, this week? We're good, we're good. And we're here to talk about the Champions League, which has finished. And we have to wait another month to see some matches of the Champions League. <clears throat> and we're going to talk about the results of this past week and the last one. So we will start with uh, Bayern de Munich, who has won 7-1 to one against Salzburg. Which for me, Bayern is a team which is in really good form and Salzburg can compete against them. Then we have Liverpool against Inter, in which Inter won 1-0, one, one but it wasn't uh, enough in order to win the, the kickoff, so the, kick the, the knockout stage. Because Liverpool scored two in, in, in San Siro. And then we go on with Manchester City and Sporting de Lisboa, who, who tied 0 uh, 0. But one, Manchester City won 5 0 in Lisboa. So Lisbon. In Lisbon. You mean Lisbon? Guardiola so, played a lot of younger in the second leg. Yes. Given that they already had won the, the knockout. Then we continue with the Ajax Benfica, uh, which so ended. Nice. Uh, 1-0 for Benfica, so they passed uh, the knockout. Uh, we have one of the uh, best uh, matches in this round, which was Atletico de Madrid against United, which ended 1-0 for Atletico, so United ended this, this Champions League. And also we have the Juventus Villarreal, which, was, uh, uh, which ended 3-0 for Villarreal. So we have Villarreal in quarterfinals, uh, something which has never been seen. And the last one, uh, Chelsea against Lille, which ended 2-1 for Chelsea. And then, and then the, the very important match of this knockout that was Real Madrid PSG. That is the game with <coughs> the game that we are going to talk about more because I think uh, and you guys, well, I want to hear your opinion. What do you think about? The, what Real Madrid do in Bernabeu? Of course, as we said last week, uh, <laughs> we were right. Madrid has won yes. the, the the knockout, and Madrid has shown to the world what it means for everybody here in Madrid. Uh, whenever Real Madrid has to uh, play a really important match, as the atmosphere was incredible in Bernabeu. Yes. One year you were there. I was I, there, I was and I there. think it's. I, this season I was too many matches in Bernabeu, but I think that, well, that what I lived the past week is incredible. I never lived, I never lived did something like that, and the atmosphere outside the stadium was amazing. And I think uh, the fans uh, will leave this match like a final, and I think this like the best match I have ever seen in in Santiago Bernabeu. And also we have such a lot of. Um, haters in here that yes. said that Real Madrid couldn't pass into the next round. A special toy in and my so that. <laughs> well, well, we we'll see, we we'll see in the next round. Now. In the next yes, round, but in Manchester the next United round, that Manchester United, United is not there. And Real Madrid, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and you lost probably with the Atletico Madrid 
<coughs> so easy with uh, with a team that is nothing to compare with PSG. We have Neymar, Mbappe, and Messi. <coughs> with Manchester United now have been terrible. The same with Atletico. Yeah, you're. But we'll see because that Madrid night. That was one special night. Yeah, yeah. Well, well one special night that we beat every year. That's yeah. the thing. <laughs> we've, seen, we, we've seen it a lot of times, so I don't think that's just uh, something about luck. You've seen that a lot of times, a game like that. <laughs> yes. Of yeah. Every year, Real Madrid does I, something. I remember five years ago, I went to the stadium against Wolfsburg, and we, we won 3 to new and we lost in Germany 2-0. Uh, two zero. Two zero. And that combat was also amazing. So I don't think that's something about luck. It's just that it is the Real Madrid spirit, I would say. That game showed what Real Madrid is in these make or break moments. When you think they are dead, is when they when they show up. When they show up. Like what happened against Ajax. Well, against Ajax was an addition in we. It was the. And without Cristiano. Without Cristiano. Cristiano. Was the first season Cristiano. without Cristiano. <laughs> well. If we have, if we talk about this, we can talk about United hasn't won in about United or about Barcelona years. that with Messi lost 8-2 against Bayern Munich with Messi <laughs> and without Messi they go to Europa League. I like, I don't like Barcelona, so that's okay. And Europa League. <laughs> talking about that, we we're, we're gonna go on with the Europa League matches that were played yesterday. Uh, Maestro, that you're a Barcelona fan, can you talk a little bit? About okay, uh, I saw yesterday uh, Barcelona uh, uh, and it ended 2-1 uh, for Barcelona. Um, I didn't see uh, Barcelona at good level, but well, uh, I have uh, hope. Hopes. I hope uh, we uh, play a good match uh, on Sunday against Real Madrid. Uh, and we are going to talk. Uh, and wait, wait, wait. For, I want to say that I am a, a little bit hater of Pedri, and I think that he's a little bit overrated. But yesterday he scored an amazing goal, so we have to say the truth here. And then we will go on with Betis and Sevilla, who played yesterday, which are the Spanish teams. <coughs> uh, both of them lost. Yes. So I saw what do you think about those games. I saw Betis match. I think Sevilla good. Sevilla played horrible, uh, and and I thought that they were the the main candidate to win the Europa League but uh, they they had an advantage before the game and they didn't play they didn't play good they they felt that that they couldn't score a goal so yeah. and then Betis uh, they scored in the 90th minute yeah. in order to equalize the, yeah. the knockout but then Frankfurt scored in the last minute of the uh, extra time yeah. in order to win the knockout so it was a little bit crazy match with a mistake of the with a mistake from the yeah. from the Betis defense which was an on goal. Well, I have to say that congratulations to Barca for winning the 12th <coughs> of the Turkish League. <laughs> they are such a great, a great team. <laughs> and we will come next week with the, with the next results of, not the Champions League, but we've got a Clásico this weekend. And then we will also talk about the... The, the matchups, they are there today. The yeah. matchups of the Champions League, which are today. So thank you very much and see you next week. Well, that was really, really interesting. <clears throat> and what do we have now? Uh, so now we have some random news with Minyana Bella and Lujal. Hello. Hello. How are you? Uh, good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Today is Friday, March 18, and we bring you the best news of the week. Yesterday was St. Patrick's Day, so if you see someone drunk, you know uh, why. <laughs> On the other hand, yesterday a draft has begun to be created that could mean the end of the war between Russia and Ukraine. Furthermore, the government says it will lower the price of electricity, gasoline and gas, and an earthquake has been <coughs> taking place on a, of a magnitude of 7.3 in Japan on Wednesday. <laughs> then, las fallas have started in Valencia. In Catalonia, teachers are having a 15-day strike because they are angry about the change in their education system, which they believe makes their education worse. And the electricity price is at uh, 249 euros. The gasoline is still expensive, and the Russia and Ukraine situation is still the same. So the negotiations with the with the war of uh, Russia and Ukraine, uh, the war continues. And in Spain, the transportation sector has started a strike, and also the fishing sector has, has joined that strike. Uh, also on Wednesday, Spain was the most contaminated country in Europe, and a lot of haze from the Sahara has made the sky of Spain orange and very contaminated. Uh, in Madrid, a bandwidth predictive devices has, has been stolen, 
And the Eiffel Tower has increased 6 meters on height because they, they have installed a new antenna. And to finish with it, yesterday uh, the government announced that, the, that they were going to reduce the price of electricity, gas and gasoline. And I want to know the opinion from the Esteban. So the Esteban, do you think this is true? <coughs> the price is really going to decrease? Uh, I honestly don't think so because uh, I think that all those taxes are very important for for the PSOE because obviously his most important thing to do is uh, giving uh, 20,000 million dollars for supposed equality that we obviously have because I'm not superior to any woman here. Um, so well, I think I that... Uh, one I second. Would you care to explain uh, to uh, an English speaking audience who is not Spanish yeah. what hmm. the BSOE is? Is the uh, actual hmm. government and um, the, let's say that in <coughs> here in Spain we have some kind of like political party that he has people in their league in their lines uh, that are, were terrorists and well this this uh, soil is now in the government thanks to those people and also uh, they are doing I wouldn't say a bad um, they are not a bad government because I think that's uh, a hard to explain thing but it's not the best one we had and now they want to move all, all the money from our taxes to um, to some things that we we don't care. That is so social equality with women. That in Spain, it has proved that uh, women have more rights than men. So as you see, it doesn't make too much sense. And well, m many people in the society is now kind of mad because we have a lot of people that doesn't have jobs. We have a lot of people that can't pay food. The gas, the, electric, the electricity, are, their prices are growing and increasing a lot, and they are just getting all this money in uh, <coughs> something that we here have uh, the Ministerio de Igualdad, that is for um, uh, political and social um, equality. Uh, equality that well, it, it's also supposedly in charge of reducing the. Uh, sexist uh, yeah. aggressions and all those things, but the truth is that uh, yeah, it's not doing too much. Yeah. But and well, that's the thing that we're the people is kind of mad because that money should go to other things more important, more relevant than that. And now moving on uh, because this is a really messy subject to talk. Uh, we'll ha come back after a few ads in a few seconds. Are you tired of trust music? Do you want to escape of reality for a few minutes? Just listen to Nothing Good's band new single, Nerd, which will be released the next month in Spotify and YouTube. Its components are former students of this school who created the group in 2018. The last year they released two singles, Wilco and Late Night Club, and also gave several concerts. Don't forget to listen to this single when it's released, because Nothing Good is the band of the moment. Are you tired of watching Netflix alone? Did you cry watching Monsters Inc? Do you want an Emma Watson, Scarlett Johansson in your life? Do you spend more time in the friend zone than in your own home? Then download Salupa, a dating app for El Valle students. With this app, you will find your own Kate Beckett. Salupa, the best choice for your lonely life. Are you struggling to pass that stupid subject? Do you need some help with the next exam? We have the best tip notes of Antinaro. We cover everything from mesh exams to bachelor exams. Buy two and receive a free German cheat note. Brutal cheat notes. Simply, Simply brutal. brutal. Have you ever dreamed of being able to know what someone is thinking? Imagine knowing everything that people think of you without them really knowing that you read their thoughts. Here at Valley Femme, we bring you an app called Did You Know That? Download it now. Valley FM. Everything the light touches is the valley. Valley, valley, valley. Are you tired of studying and forgetting everything the day after the exam and you are too lazy to make your own cheat notes? We present you the Tunetator, a web page that we put at your disposal where you can create your own cheat notes and where you can and also find other people's cheat notes. You just have to copy the text you want to include in your cheat note and select the size of the cheat note. You can select Typex model, water bottle model or just a small piece of paper. Tunetator, don't study anymore.
Okay, hello, welcome back. Uh, now we'll be speaking with Joaquin and Javi. So what do you have for us today? Hello. Hi. Hi. Okay, so for today's short news, we will be talking about two really funny and crazy things that happened in Spain during the last week. So one of the things is that in a school in the autonomous community, community of Murcia, a region of Spain, there was a math teacher who got stabbed three times in his back by a 13-year-old student. The crazy thing about this was that before the math class, where the accident happened, the 13-year-old student told one of his friends that some special things will be happening soon, imitating a really famous expression used, used by a lot of Spanish YouTubers. Luckily, the math teacher survived, and he's now in the hospital recuperating. This can make us really think about the situation that has been happening lately in Spain, in, and that's because in the last years there's been a lot of teenagers and kids that have shown extreme violence, like for example in the accident that happened last month where a 16-year-old killed, killed, uh, killed his parents because he didn't have Wi-Fi. And experts attribute this way of acting to psychological problems that might have been de developed by the quarantine and the pandemics. What do you think of this, Javi? I think that it's also true that it, it's mostly because the pandemics and the quarantine. Mm -hmm. But as you said, um, the main reason of why that kid killed his parents uh, was off because of the Wi-Fi. And that actually leads me to think that um, uh, is, is the fact that we are now so into social media and into technology that we, we can't live without it. Um, I have heard countless times the fact that when I don't have Wi-Fi and I'm uh, bo bothered or talking to my parents of why it's not working, they tend to say to me, um, you can't live without Wi-Fi or things like that. Um, I think that this kind of... Could you? What? Could you live without Wi-Fi? Uh, every summer, I go to a mountain in Galicia, and I, and I spend two months without Wi-Fi. Oof. Yeah. Oof. <laughs> so, I, I actually think <laughs> that they can. So, <coughs> I think that we should move on from this news to another. So, um, I think we should move on to um, not crazy, um, well, not crazy teenagers, but to thief ones. As in a restaurant located in Almedla Palace, which is located, uh, which is located in Barcelona, 30 teenagers made a simpa. Um, a simpa is basically when you go to a restaurant and you eat the food, but you don't pay. To, uh, you don't pay for the food, and you have run. Um, the Do we the have a word for that in, in English? Uh, I'm not wonder. sure. No, you just no. say you left no. without paying. Yeah. It must be a cultural thing then. Hmm. It makes you wonder why we have a noun for it in Spanish, <laughs> like to pull <laughs> a simpa. Have you ever and like uh, a simpa? Moving on. <laughs> I have, uh, sadly. Well, sadly, it was it was a lot of fun actually. It was <laughs> to be fair. Should I? Can I? Can I tell the anecdote? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, no yes. worries. Okay, to be fair, I was in uh, Portugal. Portugal. If you're listening, I'm sorry. Uh, in Porto, the city, uh, with my girlfriend, and we went to this restaurant. We wanted to try a, a, something that was supposed to be very traditional and they, like they took a long time to, oh. to serve us. <laughs> the beer was, uh, was super uh, hot was by, hot. The time, by the time the food got to us. So, uh, well, in, in general, the experience was terrible. The, um, what, what they brought us was almost cold and it was very like it was good. greasy, not good at all. And we tried to pay a couple of times, but they were just ignoring us. So we were like, okay, so as a joke we said, okay, if we, if we have to say one more time, uh, please bring us the bill, we'll just stand up and go, thinking that that way they would obviously come to us and say, hey, you haven't paid, and then we could pay. So it was like trying to speed things up, but they didn't follow us. <laughs> <laughs> Would you mind now in the comments, the, the guy from the restaurant, <laughs> hey, ma I owe you, th I owe you 30, yeah. 30 euros. <laughs> What would you add? Um, yeah, so but first of all, if you had to pay 30 euros for the cold food, I don't know what kind of restaurant you went, but um, the simple that we're talking about is kind of different because, as I said, it was by 30 teenagers, and the funny thing that happened was that um, they locked three of them in the bathroom and they, they, all, le uh, they all left them alone. 
and when they got out of the bathroom, they had to pay a bill of 1,000 euros. So, um, I think that's, that's kind of funny because I, if, I, if, what the, if, that, if that was the case for me, I wouldn't have the money to pay it. And what would you do? Either. Because like uh, when I was little, I remember watching films in which um, when you didn't have the money, you had to clean dishes or do work for the restaurant. But um, I don't think they're going to let you like yeah. work with the dishes for like yeah, 300 right. euros Thousand. each. Because you know, Spain, just call the police and bring me the money. You know? Yeah, um, yeah, it's actually very impossible for that to happen. Also, because uh, most restaurants should have something like a dishwasher. Um, what would you think about that, Paulo? What do, What would you do if um, this happened to you? Okay, so first I would definitely feel really bad because it's kind of uh, selfish if people do that. But at the same time, it's true that you can't make them wash the dishes for like a month just to pay the the 1,000 euros. And also, I, I think that it tells a lot about the Spanish culture that we have a word to describe when we do yeah. this thing. Because <laughs> it happens so often that we have a word for that. <laughs> and yeah, it probably, it's something that will happen only in Spain. Like, if you think about other countries, you can't imagine this happening. So yeah. Okay, so yeah, basically that would be all for us. Um, yeah, see ya uh, next week. Yeah, I was that was amazing, uh, it was really funny stories, but now we have to move on to uh, TV shows with Natalia and Paula, that they, they don't have any books for us this week, and we have a TV show called Euphoria. So what do you have for us? Hi, so we are Paula and Natalia, and today we have a new section. Okay, uh, but first we have here Nat, and we'll hear Natalia. Of not getting gains at the gym, are you tired of not getting any chicks? Are you tired of being fat and ugly? Become only ugly. With our new Macho Whey Protein, you will become the Arnold Schwarzenegger of your neighborhood's gym. Macho Whey Protein is not only really healthy and helps you to supplement your diet, but it also has the magic that you need to get big. Macho Whey Protein, above all at your local store. Eat big and get big. Macho Whey Protein. So what do you have uh, for us, Natalia? So hi, we are Paula and Natalia, and today we have a new oh. section, TV shows. Uh, today Paula is at home with COVID, but she will be joining us online. Hi, Paula. Oh. Okay, so to start this new section, we want to talk about one of the most famous shows now, that is Euphoria from HBO. Uh, has someone watched it? Yes, I have. Yeah. Okay, and uh, did you like it? What do you mean yes. Euphoria? Yes. Euphoria. Yeah. It was good. It was Hi, Natalia. Ah, Paula. Paula is 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 joining us. Okay, so Paula now is going to talk okay, about so uh, the plot. We will start asking. Okay, so for the ones that don't, that haven't seen it, um, okay. please. So, well, for the ones that don't know, uh, the director is Sam Levinson, and the show follows a group of high school students as they navigate love and friendship in a world of drugs, sex, trauma, and social media. It is an American adaptation of an Israeli show of the, na of the same name. In a show that stands out, what uh, stands out is the aesthetic in terms of makeup, outfits, and the use of colors to reflect the personality of the different characters. An example could be the use of colors, uh, red and black for cats' outfits, and makeup uh, or pink and blue for cats. Another element that stands out in the series are the background songs. Created by Labyrinth and some being sang with Zendaya, these songs have gained so much popularity between teenagers, and there's no doubt why. 
Some of the best known are Mount Everest and a new release from the second season called Tire. The second season was released on the 10th of January and the last episode was released on the 28th of February. Okay, so now we want to do a little activity with you all. We are going to talk about the main characters of the show and at the end <coughs> you will have to tell us your most and least favorite and the reason why. So, Paula, start. Okay, we will start uh, talking about Zendaya that plays Rue, a 17-year-old drug addict, first from rehab, but with no plans to stay clean. She is the main character of the show and narrates the backstories of the other characters. <coughs> then we have Hunter Schlaffer, who plays Jules, a transgender girl trying to find where she belongs. She is Rue's girlfriend, but uh, the, relation the relationship is unstable. Then we have Jacob Elordi. He plays Nate, uh, who is Maddie's uh, uh, ex-boyfriend and whose anger issues mask sexual insecurities. Alexa Demi plays Maddie Perez, Nate's ex-girlfriend. Uh, she is very confident, but she is also a good friend. Sydney Sweeney plays Cassie, who is Maddie's friend and whose sexual history comes, uh, continues to dog her. Barbie Pereira plays Kat, also Maddie Santasi's friend. She's a body conscious teen exploring her, her sexuality. And uh, we have Maud uh, Apato, who plays Lexi. She is Cassie's younger sister and Ruth's childhood friend, who tries to support her during her struggles with drugs. Then we have Angus Cloud, uh, who plays Fex Fesco, who is a drug dealer and is friend of Ruth. He sells drugs, even to Rue, but he tries to take care of her and protect her from others. Then we have Dominic Fike, who plays Elliot, and the senior guy who lives uh, at an idiot with Cassie, and who has a lot in common with Matt and James, the ex and Then we have Eric James, who plays Kai, uh, Nate's ex kid, and the angry father who has a secret life hooking up with young men and trans models in motels. And uh, the last is Austin Abrams, who plays Ethan. Cats love interest and who is a very nice guy. So now, uh, Sergio, who is your favorite character? Uh, maybe Rue. And why? Uh, because she is a drug addict and uh, I, know, I think she is the more relatable to everyone because of her problems and everything. I disagree with you. Mine is Nate. No, I, I don't know why, no, 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 but it's no. Nate. No, I'm no, sorry. No. He is the best. And your least favorite? My least favorite? Yes. Cassie. Jules. No, Jules. No, She's Cassie's a bitch. No, Jules is a bitch. <laughs> no, Cassie's the bitch. Jules treat everybody in her life like shit. She no, only, no, she only yeah, wants to be like Cassie did to Marie. No. No. no Cassie, but Jules what Cassie is did worse. is it was wrong. But Jules is a bad person. Yeah. Cassie is just a stupid. That's she the difference. You always want to be the center of attention? Yeah. See, Cassie di didn't do uh, like she's n she doesn't do things in purpose. Jules, she thinks but Jules about. Jules didn't it. do anything. Yeah. She Just only did one thing to. Uh, no, no. First, when Rue was about to like get uh, another time in drugs, she left. Yes. And then she came back <coughs> to Jules, uh, no, to Ju to Rue. Like if nothing happened, they start a relationship, and then she. Yes, uh, because she only thinks about, about herself and yeah, her she, feelings. And yeah, I don't know. Cassie's just dumb. I'm sorry, she's, she's gorgeous, but she's dumb. So for me, my favorite is Fisco and her relationship with, uh, with, with Lexi. Lexi. Yeah, I love them. Yeah, but his brother died. Yeah. No. But, oh. yes. <laughs> but shut up! No, 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 I, I have to say it. You're spoiling. Yeah, yeah. The, the, no, whole, the, whole, the whole show. <laughs> no, yeah. literally the two seasons. <laughs> the two I, I, seasons, I love, yeah. I love it spoiling. All right, spoiler alert <laughs> then. Oh my god. Like 10 no, seconds later. Like, well, yeah, yeah, we know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just playing with you. 
he, he didn't die. Mm. I totally agree oh, with Natalia. <laughs> I think Fresco is a really, a a really great character, uh, as he I always takes care of Ru when she needs it. Huh? What did you say? <laughs> Repeat it. Lexi's play. Oh, Lexi's play, yeah. It was, it was beautiful. The best I really moment, love. I think. Yeah, <laughs> I really, really love with that thing. Mm. Yeah. Just to we see the reaction. <laughs> Yeah. Now I love the part that um, the boyfriend of this this girl that is cut, uh, cut, that he played the mother of uh, yes. Lexi and Cassie. It was it was pretty pretty good. Yeah. Okay. So now to finish, we would like to give you our opinion in what we were our favorite things about the show and recommend another series similar to this one. Okay, so to start, my opinion is that I really enjoyed the show, mostly because the way it has been made, I was really impressed by the filming, the costumes, and the makeup of the characters. Well, what I also liked about the show is, as Natalia said, the makeup and the costumes. And I really love how they use the colors on the different characters. And the most important thing I like uh, about the show is that it talks about really important issues and uh, taboo elements that I think aren't talked about enough in a way that uh, everyone can see it and think for themselves about these things. Yeah, and to finish, uh, we would like to give you a recommendation that is uh, sex education. Okay, so sex education, uh, it's just a story of a boy called Otis that when his classmates learn about his home life, uh, Otis decides to improve his status at the school by using his insider knowledge. So he teams up with his smart bad girl, Maeve, to set up an underground sex therapy clinic to deal with their classmates' problems. It is a British comedy drama created by Laurie Nunn for Netflix. So that was all for today. Thank you for having us and we will see you the next week. Okay, so thank you, uh, Natalia and Paula. Uh, it was a kind of hard um, to do it because since Paula is at home yeah. with COVID, oof. It was it was hard, but I hope you enjoy it and thank you for your time. And now um, we have an interview with Andres Martin Chamorro, uh, a an, an teacher from the school. Um, we'll hear it after a debate with the whole class. And today's debate uh, is about drugs. Since the section it was of Paula and I <coughs> talked about series about drugs, so uh, for example, um, <laughs> uh, Bonjo, uh, what do you think about drugs? But yeah. or, or I mean, I've... have you tried? No, no. no. You're a healthy well, boy. if we consider alcohol, I mean, as alcohol as is a drug. drug. It's a drug, well, but you know, yes, we but don't consider oh, alcohol right. as a drug. That's that is. So you're clean? Yes. <laughs> for real. Yes. Okay, so you're a healthy boy. Um, what type of drugs are you talking about? <laughs> um, <laughs> not hard drugs. I mean, all drugs. Instead, of, with uh, not alcohol. Uh, alcohol and tobacco. You know, we. Um, you're talking about illegal drugs. Yeah. Yeah, I'm talking about okay. the illegal oh, drugs, okay. obviously. So we we would be considered a soft drug. Yes, but yeah, but it's illegal here in Spain. In Spain, it's illegal.
So we is also a part of you know drugs. No, but it's the same. Even if no, it's illegal, it's considered a soft drug. Yes, it's, it's soft. Okay, like I, I get what you mean, but I mean drugs in general. You know, like yeah, in, yeah. without legal ones, or alcohol and tobacco. Uh, you know, weed, heroin, cocaine, speed, uh, speed, yeah, <laughs> crack, whatever you you can think about. Yeah. And what do you think about them? Well, what I want, I I think that there are like you can have fun. <laughs> it's yeah. obvious with drugs, but <coughs> I think they're <coughs> they are very well. Uh, they need to be legalized because if not, everyone I think we could have like um, <laughs> an education <laughs> that is not. Uh, I think we have to educate in don't take drugs because I think we have we all know the. <coughs> what can uh, affect in our personality or in our social life the problems we, we can have with our families and a, a lot of difficulties that we could have because and, of drugs. And if we do that, then should we do the same thing with, for example, tobacco? Well, I, co I consider that tobacco and alcohol, especially alcohol in Spain, well, in other countries, they are like more like a social thing because you can go to uh, any bar uh, or any pub and it's like more social than to take But drugs. alcoholic I people is more used to um, go home and then hit the, you know, the family. Oh, alcoholics? Yeah, alcoholics. Yeah. Well, you know, I never understand that because when I drink alcohol, I feel like happy and I, I want to be happy. I don't want to hit anyone. Yeah, but that's because you have <coughs> the same neurons as a, as a rock and you don't, you know. <laughs> I'm, just, yeah. I'm just joking, I'm just joking. I don't know, I think it's just people, when they go start going job and having a job and going to work, they just get stressed and then they go to alcohol, they, <coughs> they start drinking a lot and I don't know, they just go home, they get mad about something or because I don't know why and they hit people, but that's people with pro mental problems probably. It depends their personality. Yeah, it depends yeah. a lot. As I, I say, that's more the personality than... As I say, there are two kind of... Uh, drunks, you have the good ones and the bad ones. The bad ones, they get mad. The good ones, they happy. You know, I, I don't think the difference. alcohol is part of it. I mean, yeah, I, mean, I think you can I be aggressive or, or the way you are without alcohol. Thanks. <coughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, it's yes, but at the same time. I just think alcohol makes you do whatever you really want so to do. So if you're a bad person, you're going to hit your wife. That's not what I meant. Uh, <laughs> so um, after this confusion, uh, <laughs> okay, we we'll be back in, yeah, yeah, in yeah. a few minutes. We'll be back in a few minutes. I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> ah, uh, we'll be back after an interview <coughs> with Andres Martin Chamorro, uh, with Natalia and Ivana and Miñana. Hi, we are Natalia, Ivana and Sergio and today we are going to interview Andres, uh, a history teacher of this school. What did you study at university? Well, I made a art history degree and after that I studied a master's degree. Myself in uh, applied arts and then a second master's degree for becoming a teacher. Uh, did you know from the beginning that you wanted to be a history teacher? Well, I wouldn't say I did know, but somehow I, I felt it uh, because I wanted to work in a museum, but eventually the crisis of 2008, it was a mess. So it was my plan B, but I'm happy with that plan. Uh, what was your first job? Well, my first job was uh, at my parents' holstery business. I was a bartender, receptionist, all kind of activities related to that. How long have you been working here? Well, I've been working here uh, since, I think, 2014, more or less. I think it's eight years now. Uh, but, um, well, every year is different and, and I love it that way. Okay, and uh, what do you like the most about working in this school? I think uh, what I like the most is the 
um, the relationships with the students because it's pretty close and um, so, uh, sometimes I, when, when they go out to school I feel like they uh, become kind of a friend so I, I love it though. Okay, so that was all for today. Thank you Andres for having us and we will see you the next week with another interview. Hello everyone and welcome back to the second hour of Valley FM. Today I will be joined by my co-host Miguel. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Okay, so uh, let's welcome our first guest. Guest, What are you girls going to talk about today? Hello. Hi. Um, we are going to talk about four series and one film that is going to air this month in Netflix. So yeah, we are going to start with that. We'll start with the first series, which is Krakow Monsters. This is a series made in Poland by rookie directors and also rookie cast, so we don't know a lot about them. And uh, this series is about a young woman, uh, haunted by her past, who joins a mysterious professor and his group of gifted students who investigate paranormal uh, activities and fight demons. So uh, this series is about uh, fantasy and horror, and it's chilly, non and scary. Okay, the next um, series that we are going to talk about is called Talk Boy, and this uh, is a British uh, original um, Netflix series created and written by uh, Ronan Bennett. And uh, since uh, 2019, fans have been waiting patiently for season two, and uh, it's thanks to Drake, the uh, singer, that uh, series has uh, the series has been revived. And uh, the genre for this um, series is crime TV and TV dramas and this show is gritty and emotional. So the synopsis for this series is Dushan wants to expand his empire beyond the streets. But with a huge investment, Barnett's abroad and family crisis, more money means more problems. Um, our next uh, series is Human Resources, which is a, a spin-off of Big Mouth. Uh, it's a sitcom with adult, uh, adult animation TV and uh, basically is the uh, lovebacks, a uh, hormone monsters and a parrot of other creatures juggle romance, work, uh, workplace drama and their human clients needs in uh, this big bounce spin-off. They basically help uh, humans with their problems, also having problems then. Yeah, I watched a uh, big mouth once. It was uh, super funny. Yeah, it was really fun. <laughs> Okay, so the next series is going, going to be The Bridgerton and it's going to be released on the 25th of March and the series, the synopsis is that duty, desire and scandal collide when Viscount Anthony Bridgerton decides to marry only to meet his match in his intended bride's headstrong big sister. So this show uh, also is uh, it might be the most popular among those, uh, those that will be in Netflix this month and uh, months have been waiting for season two, and now they are so excited because this TV show uh, comes from a, a saga of novels, and uh, it's so popular because of that. The genre is for the series is romantic TV, dramas, and TV shows uh, based on books, and the show is uh, songworthy, emotional, and romantic. And uh, our last uh, film we're talking, we're gonna talk about today. It's in good hands. It's a true uh, film, uh, emotional and romantic, uh, when and talks about a mother who is diagnosed uh, with terminal illness and has to uh, meet uh, another uh, man to get a, a really good father for a, her headstrong six years old. So it's yeah, sentimental, heartfelt, and romantic. Okay, so we want to know, for example, Maria. Uh, which uh, series or the film uh, did you like find more interesting? I think the second one seemed mm -hmm. really interesting. Top yeah, top boy. Boy. I yeah. personally hate the fantasy genre. <laughs> I don't find it interesting. So okay, okay. yeah, that's really cool. Yeah. Is that so it? yeah, that's it. Thank you yeah. so Thank much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, Mikel, were you paying attention to what they were saying? Yes, uh, and one thing that got my interest is how. Uh, they said something that Drake uh, was one of the reasons why 
uh, the series of talk boy continued. Uh, I'm not quite sure how he did that, but I thought it was interesting. Well, now let's find out if other students also pay as much attention in class as you do with our next group. Hi, guys. Hello. Hi. Hi. We, today we are here to test if students uh, are paying attention in class. It's a uh, quarter past ten and students should be paying attention to their teachers. So to check if um, they are doing the right thing or are on their phones, we are going to text four people from the other classes. I'm going to text um, Jaime Gonzalez to see if he wants to play Clash Royale. <laughs> um, let's see if he answers. Who are you going to write to, Diego? Uh, I'm going to write Monica uh, if she wants to. Is a, and something about uh, what are we going to do this evening or something like that. And Cantero? I'm going to ask Ines to ask she if what we are going to do this weekend. And Jim, what are we going to ask you? I'm going to ask Alberto Morales who. Well, <laughs> I'm going, in fact, this is the first message I will ever send to him, so we just say hello. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't have you added with no name, so he doesn't know who you are. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> I think Alberto won't answer that quickly. Now, here's my stance on this. He's a new man. He is in a new class. He's learning new things. He even passed all of his, of his exams, so he's clearly responsible, and yes. he must be paying attention to his classes. Yeah, I think the same too, but well, I, don't I don't think the same about Monica because she's <laughs> online now in WhatsApp, so she's going to answer me. Yeah, I think Monica is going to be the first one answering. <laughs> For the moment, Jaime hasn't oh, answered yet. <laughs> He just answered. <laughs> <laughs> that was fast. I got confidence on okay. him. What did he say? Uh, he's just asking me why I said him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I feel cheated now. <laughs> well, so um, Alberto was clearly the first one answering. I really thought that Jaime would be the first one. Let me tell you something, I'm not, I, I'm not surprised, I gotta say, like, Alberto... Yeah, yeah that's true. We know Alberto, <laughs> Alberto was in our class, and we know <laughs> what he was doing on all classes. Yeah, so that's true. So, It was well, a surprise. Mm, that's all. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. And now it's time for ads. Tired of leaving school and having to take the bus? Do not suffer anymore! Now, with our premium limousine service, you can go home comfortably and the best thing is that you will not have to share a seat with anyone! Before, at 50 euros a month, now only at 49 with 99! Do not miss this incredible offer! Call now and get your premium limousine service! Valley FM! Everything the light touches is the valley, 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 valley. Psst! Hey, you! News use requested right now for only 120 euros. And if you are one of the first five to call, we will send you the 300 page manual with all its functions at half a price. Do not miss out on this unique offer. This. Is Valley FM. Did you know that there are only two countries where Coca-Cola does not exist? These are North Korea and Cuba. You want to learn more facts like this? Listen to our section on Bali Podcast. 
Are you struggling to pass that stupid subject? Do you need some help with the next exam? We have the best notes of Antinaro. We cover everything from S exams to Bachelor exams. Buy two and receive a free German cheat note. Brutal cheat notes. Simply, Simply brutal. brutal. Hey, did you hear Valley FM's back? That's groovy. <laughs> Are you tired of watching Netflix alone? Did you cry watching The Kissing Booth? Do you want a Marco Diaz or Adriana Gresti in your life? Do you spend more time in the friend zone than in your own home? Then download Salupa, a dating app for Elvaya students. With this app, you will find your own Noah Flynn. Salupa, the best choice for your lonely life. Okay, so we are back after a short break and we're here with new guests. So, guys, uh, would you introduce yourself? Uh, hello, good morning. Now we are going to discuss about the about the best season of the of the year. We are Carlos, Oscar, Jaime, and me. Jaime, what is your best favorite season? Well, for me, the winter is the best season of the year. Uh, you have the holidays, and you can get rid of the school for some weeks. And in winter you have Christmas, well, when you can spend some time with your family and the people you love. And I think it's the best part of the winter. Also, on winter you can practice some sports that only in winter you can practice, like, like skiing or skateboarding. And I think that they are the best the sports that we have. Also, uh, so sorry to interrupt. So we can't practice skateboarding in the summer. <laughs> well, <laughs> Snowboarding. Doing it when I was a kid. No, Is it no. like illegal? If you want to go to the mountains <laughs> here in Madrid, there are. Ah, I think you mean snowboarding. Ah, yes. Because I understood <laughs> skate. I understood skateboarding. No, and I thought. No, I wow. was referring to snowboarding. Ah, all right, all right. That makes sense. <laughs> uh, yeah, and also uh, in winter you have the city. That the city is very beautiful in winter because you have uh, the people and the lights and you can go with your girlfriend and if you don't have a girlfriend with your friends to see the lights and also there are very good la landscapes on winter like uh, the mountains with the snow and uh, like the city, the city with the with the lights well in my opinion the best season of the year is the spring uh, because it's the time of the year where it's a perfect weather sign it, it is neither hot, hot or cold uh, also, with the good weather, you can do uh, more activities or, plan or plants outdoors. In addition, there are more uh, hours of light, since the day lasts longer than the night. Uh, in the spring, you have the Holy Week, and uh, we also do the Santiago Road, so you can jo enjoy your free time and the holidays. Uh, you can also enjoy the nature and the landscapes, as plant beer, uh, flowers, fruits, and leaves turn green. Uh, I really like summer because you don't have to wear millions of clothes because it's hot. Uh, you don't have to wake up sun um, because you don't have to go to school or go to work. Uh, you can be with your friends all the day uh, and do everything what uh, do everything what you like in a, at every moment. In my opinion, the best season of the year they are the album. Because you have, you can be with the chimney, it's uh, nearly, and you can be warm. You can be warm, and they is very chill. Then you can, you can begin to eat some hot, di hot dishes like soups, be uh, white beans, etc. And also you can be, uh, you can be sleeping in the sofa with a blanket, very, very chill. <laughs> and then, then Noelia. I asked you what what is your favorite season? What is your favorite season? Uh, well, I prefer summer because uh, you have uh, the beach and uh, I love like <coughs> uh, being also uh, with the hot weather and uh, having vacations and uh, it's also like a time for relax and being just with friends and you don't have to to be stressed out. <laughs> okay, so thank you guys. Um, uh, now 
let's talk about things we hate. Part so, two. girls. Yes. And on today's session, we are also going to talk about things we hate and criticize them. Because, as you could see, uh, it's our favorite hobby. And this time we are focusing on the public transport. So, Molina, would you like to comment uh, about people of the public transport, for example, like in the bus or train? Because, as you know, uh, you can find many strange people there. Um, yes, I think the worst people on public transport are the ones that smell bad. Um, especially like when you are at the metro and you smell like um, sweat, eh? Subway. Um, eh, you smell like a sweat smell. And the thing is that you can't tell the man or the woman that he or she smells bad. Yeah. But you can't move because um, usually the underground is really um, crowded. And the other ones that I really hate are the ones that sit, that sit uh, right next to you when the metro is uh, empty. What do you think about that? Yes, I, I agree with that. It's like uh, when uh, it's not an hour that's very crowded, so uh, you sit and you just listen to music or talk to, to a friend, and then they just sit right next to you and what I hate the most is uh, when they just start looking at your phone, like what you are you are doing, like please some privacy. <laughs> yeah. And when they watch like videos or they are using their phone so loud and you can do whatever you want. Yeah, that. Yes, because it's like the subway is for everyone and it's not like your house, so you just have to think about the rest of the people. I, th I hate it when that happens. Yeah. I hate it, absolutely hate it. Uh, the, the other day I was on the bus and I was trying to read and suddenly I hear mm, 10 seconds worth of a song. That, that's the problem really. And then the same 10 seconds and the same 10 seconds, somebody was on TikTok obviously, <laughs> but uh, too loudly for a bus full of people. Yes, I don't understand what that person is. So they can put some headphones. Hmm. But they they are only so they are always like old people who don't listen. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what why don't uh, why they don't buy headphones. They are not that expensive. That girl really wasn't I wouldn't say that she was old. She was younger than me. For you guys perhaps that's <laughs> still old but she was twenty something, so it's not that she doesn't know headphones exist <laughs> <Yeah>. so <laughs> but Ruben would you put your feet across <laughs> on, in the metro legato on another seat which uh, is one of the things I hate the most when people stick their feet on yeah, the other like, seat I'll happens all the time Perhaps I'll plead I'll plead guilty on this one I do do that <laughs> a lot actually. that annoys me so it's very much. comfortable that annoys me so much I take the yeah. to be fair this is also usually a youngster but someone like you but I take the feet off it annoys me so much because it's a public transport someone's gonna have to put their ass on that seat yeah. and you've put your smelly feet I saw once <laughs> a, a kid maybe 16 year old kid and he had shit on his shoes oh, <laughs> no. and he had decided that he would put his feet on the other bit and I was like okay that's right if that's okay if you've got shiny new trainers but if you've literally dropped shit and a little old lady came on and I was like don't yeah. sit on that seat yeah Oof. Yeah, that's what you that's what you're doing to society you're putting <laughs> shit putting shit <laughs> people's people's shit clothes people's yeah anyway it's that's the thing i hate that's the thing i hate i think that that's too much for me it's true we shouldn't do that but it is old people that do the. i mean really old people older than us that mm. do the thing with the phone that do the, it's like a cat or something scratching something <laughs> or a baby um going ah, or having a phone call on speaker yeah, with your family when you've terrible. got off the airport, you've just got in on the train back. Or what's WhatsApp audio notes uh, on speaker as well? Like, like everybody can hear what the other person is complaining about because audio notes. Everybody knows that WhatsApp yeah. audio notes are for complaining about stuff. <laughs> well, sometimes people do have the headphones, but they take the headphones out too soon, and you hear whatever. They uh. really didn't want you to hear that they were listening to. Them. That's happened. True. Some things that have been a bit awkward sometimes. True. Yes. Anyway. And uh, well, Miguel, what do you think about all that kind of people? Well, uh, I have to say that I uh, I didn't have much uh, bad experiences uh, with people on the public transport, but I had bad uh, bad experiences on the bus in general. Like for example, 
I hate going uh, on bus because one time I lost a single stop and I almost end up at the airport. And another time I was supposed to go to a graduation and I didn't know that you had to stop the bus so it just... Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I hate it when the buses come late. I think yeah. that's the most annoying thing. And also a concept known as man spreading, <laughs> yeah. which is when people sit with their legs wide open and they take up all the space. Okay, yes. thank you girls, that was very interesting. And now it's time for ads. Are you tired of watching Netflix alone? Did you cry watching The Kissing Booth? Do you want a Marco Diaz or Adriana Gresti in your life? Do you spend more time in the friend zone than in your own home? Then download Salupa, a dating app for Elvaya students. With this app, you will find your own Noah Flynn. Salupa, the best choice for your lonely life. Are you tired of watching Netflix alone? Did you cry watching Monsters Inc? Do you want an Emma Watson, Scarlett Johansson in your life? Do you spend more time in the friend zone than in your own home? Then download Salupa, a dating app for El Valle students. With this app, you will find your own Kate Beckett. Salupa, the best choice for your lonely life. Are you tired of studying and forgetting everything the day after the exam and you are too lazy to make your own cheat notes? We present you the Tunetator, a web page that we put at your disposal where you can create your own cheat notes and where you can and also find other people's cheat notes. You just have to copy the text you want to include in your cheat note and select the size of the cheat note. You can select Typex model, water bottle model or just a small piece of paper. Tunetator, don't start anymore. Have you ever dreamed of being able to know what someone is thinking? Imagine knowing everything that people think of you without them really knowing that you read their thoughts. Here at Valley Femme, we bring you an app called Did You Know That? Download it now. Are you tired of trust music? Do you want to escape of reality for a few minutes? Just listen to Nothing Good's band new single, Nerd, which will be released the next month in Spotify and YouTube. Its components are former students of this school who created the group in 2018. The last year they released two singles, Wilco and Late Night Club, and also gave several concerts. Don't forget to listen to this single when it's released, because nothing good is the one of the moment. Valley FM. It's not the Valley of the Fallen, it's the Valley of the Rockers. Of not getting... Okay guys, and we're back. Thanks for staying with us. And the next topic is Elon Musk vs Putin. Yes, that's what we are going to talk about. And it's very surprising that a few days ago, we saw on Twitter, on <coughs> Twitter that Elon Musk had been challenged to a single combat to Putin. Now, if you will have to win, who would you go with? Who's your guy okay. for this fight? If I had to bet, I will go with Putin because I don't know much about Elon Musk, but uh, Putin is an ex KGB member, and I think he, uh, Putin will beat Elon Musk as. Yeah, I'm with uh, Javi here, and yeah, yeah. I think that uh, Putin also had a black belt on karate or something. Like no, that's fake. Really? Yes, of course. Well. He's an old man. No. <laughs> he knows how to, but he knows how to fight. Yeah, yeah. Like he's he going went to, to the KGB us. and all that stuff. I'm he knows sorry, how to use but a weapon. I don't agree with you no? in <laughs> any possible way. Well, me too. He did knew how to fight because he's 69 years old, Oof. and the only life without Putin was in his past. I don't care. The joints begin to fail. Muscular and articular discomfort has already arrived, and also that Elon fights for the whole world, so there's no way that they don't lose, only die, because yeah. there's no way they don't lose. Yeah, but in the case uh, Putin loses, uh, then his army is going to exterminate. Yes, but we are not talking about political matters, it's just a single yeah. combat without t-shirt, Elon Musk against Putin, <laughs> who's winning? I think Putin. Uh, 
I I don't agree with that. But Elon Musk <laughs> has SpaceX rockets. Yeah, and yes. Putin has nothing. He has bears. Yes, uh, bears. bears. can fight with a bear. Bears against rockets, <laughs> against spaceships. Yeah, but, but he can fight uh, right no, in a bear. But imagine, <laughs> just with no one, you no just one have your your, your arms and your hands. I think Elon Musk is winning. Mm, yeah, yeah, probably, be, but because only because he's he old. Only because There's Putin no is old. What? But only because Putin is very old. Yes, old. Yes, yes. 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 <laughs> no, because Elon Musk has technology. Yeah, yeah but, but it's like he doesn't Putin know has to fight. nothing. Just with hands. He's an old man. It's a face to face, not to know you're not anything. Yes, I will say doesn't Elon matter Musk. what you have. It's like just a uh, boxing. You just have yes. I think Elon Musk is winning. Yeah, probably. because he's 69 years old. And That's I don't care true. how your physical state in the past or who was Putin in the past. <laughs> now, Elon Musk against Putin. I think <laughs> Elon is winning. Uh, by the way, I think that Elon Musk is very uh, unresponsible be because he's uh, literally uh, uh, betting Ukraine in a fight. So I don't think it, that is very... Uh, yeah, but that's the way he... <laughs> He does things like he gets all his popularity through what the what the things he says on Twitter. And he, he looks like he lives drunk 24/7. Yeah. And all do you remember time. when he wanted to nuke uh, Mars in order to get water? <laughs> yes. yes. and he's crazy. Yeah, yes, yeah, he's crazy. crazy. He's like and a super villain. And you saw physically Elon Musk. He's big. We keep saying sorry, Barry, to interrupt. Uh, we keep saying Elon Musk. It's Elon Musk. Remember. So if he's listening, hi, Elon. <laughs> Elon. <laughs> Musk. Elon. Elon. Right. Elon must be Elon must be listening to us. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. So Elon, if you are listening to me, uh, I believe in you. I know you can be Putin. No. <laughs> That's because you want a Tesla, no? That's the yeah. reason why. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want a Tesla. Yes, yes, he wants a Tesla. Imagine, they are alone. They only have their bodies. <laughs> Who's Make winning? <laughs> You're big on the name. I don't care who Putin was or who or what Elon has. Who is winning? Elon is skinny. A little bit skinny. No. And Putin is no. fat. <laughs> That's the thing. Yes. But oh no. Elon, you see Elon and he is big. He has a like a good physical state. He oh and of course what is he said. Putin is sixty nine years old. There's no way Putin wins. How old what? is Elon? 40 something. 50 years old. Oh, 50. 20 years of insurance. So I think Elon is winning. Okay. So, uh, is that it? Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. And now uh, we're going to talk about something that is being uh, ga gaining popularity this uh, last weeks. Uh, a very popular debate about are there more wheels or doors on the world? So. Would you introduce this topic to us? Uh, yes, uh, on the last few days there has been a debate between the number of wheels and the number of doors in, in the world and uh, they are like 50-50, this is very similar, uh, the percentage of people that think one, one way or the other, so uh, today we are going to discuss about that. Hey, okay, so what do you think? <laughs> there is more doors or wheels? Yeah, hey, I'm on team wheels. I think there are, there are a lot of like more wheels because uh, all the transport, all the machines, like everything has a wheel in it. No, door too. All the transport has a door? Every it's car? Bad. Yes, but the motorcycles, the bikes, the But there are more cars than, uh, and vans than motorcycles. But they are the same doors. No. no, there are five, eight, but uh, each car has five doors and four wheels. And the one of, and the one like if you, um, how do you say? And also you are confusing wheels with gears and it's not the same thing. And and the back door of a, of a car is not a door. Like yes, it's a door. No. And also inside the car, there's and four the doors. Inside the car? I mean, a uh, cabinet. You that, that that door. Yeah, yes, no, yes, 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 no. Then a gear is a wheel. Exactly. A what? A gear um, is a wheel. Ah, if no. a cabinet is the door. No. <laughs> to, to open the cabinet, uh, if it's not a door, what is? Uh, a cabinet? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like. 
and it's bad. <laughs> and there a lot of transport, like um, the trucks. They has a lot of wheels and just tubers. Yes. The one. <laughs> and how about <laughs> and how about office chairs? Like there's millions of them. Here and in each this one class, if you count, there are more wheels. No. And uh, yes. all the uh, hotels count. and the cruise ships and uh, the dressing rooms. And uh, the schools with lockers, there are a lot of lockers in this school. It's technically a locker, but... No, because to open the locker, Okay, but just take this, take this class for, for an example. How many doors do you see? One and two. And and look, for example, uh, there, there are four wheels right there. But the world is not our <laughs> class, <Yes>. so... <laughs> like, if you think about it, on every room you can imagine, there's probably going to be more wheels yes. than doors. Mm. And all the in all the closets and all that you you have said, in the drawers there are uh, yeah. tiny wheels. In not my, always. I, okay, not always. Like the but one that, that moves my, sideways. In my room. Okay, but in uh, my I room have no. like okay <laughs> in mine. <me. laughs> uh, yeah, and to yes, and to move the door there are tiny wheels also. Because uh, my my closet is like this. No. Yes, my too. Okay. You but, are. but also think about uh, in the factories there's exactly. thousands of wheels, small wheels that make everything work that are not gears. Okay, there are also a lot of doors. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sorry to interrupt. We have several uh, messages from people. One of them says uh, he has two bikes and a van and he eats eight wheels in total. <laughs> so what do you have to reply to that? Uh, <laughs> The <laughs> the garage in we in which he or she he he <laughs> uh, <laughs> the bike and the there is one door. and the car and all that you mean the, the room yes yeah. ah you don't the, know? yeah they're in my house it's me sorry <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah I have uh, the, the two bikes are in my house and uh, in like in the house in a room and and. And here's the address for anybody who wants to know, not really. <laughs> and obviously the van is in the street. But the point is there are as, there are twice as many, I have twice as many wheels in my life than doors in my house. Or doors I have to cross in the morning to get to work. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> See, <you're doing> <laughs> wheels. <laughs> I don't think so. Although if I get on my van, I do open one or two doors. <laughs> yeah. What do you keep inside? <laughs> more, is there more wheels or doors like in little? More wheels, definitely. <laughs> Inside? <laughs> Although I do have cabinets in the van. So that's it. I do uh -huh. have cabinets. Again, cabinets, yeah. not yeah. doors. Yes. Like no. no. doors like yes. If gears are wheels, cabinets are doors. But no, gears are not wheels. Anything inside the box? She said that the, the no. cars. No, 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 wheels. <laughs> cabinet is not yes, a door. A like a window is not. Yes, a door. No? Yes, yes, because if you have to open a door. Mm. Okay, but uh, I don't ha I'm talking about the ones like you pull. Ah, okay, that's ah. not a door, but. But you mean, no. And, and they, those are wheels. Yes. Yes. Are they closed? You are oh closed, yes, no. <laughs> like in the kitchen, all the. when you. o sea, where mm. you put the glasses and the plates. Mine they opens like that. <coughs> so ah. they have wheels. But you also have. Okay, but. Uh, uh, no, but each one has four wheels compared to one door of another cabinet. There are more. <laughs> 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 yes, I have so many. See that? It's the baby one. Yes, it will go on for until people get tired. I mean, I think that the one thing that we can all agree is that there are more windows than uh, wheels or doors in the world. Windows? Yeah, no. windows. Mm. No, mm. I don't know. Big city. <laughs> Big <laughs> Man. Face masks, though. More face masks. Oh, yeah. Face masks. Used and unused in the bottom of the street. All right, fight. Elon Musk versus <laughs> every window in the world. Nah. <laughs> no debate about that. <laughs> Okay, well, thank, thank you, you guys. Uh, we would like to thank all of our listeners and everyone that commented on our show. And goodbye. <laughs>